to the right. I'll be home for Christmas. You can plan. Those big cons are gonna love you. Me. Please have snow and mistletoe and bread. I wasn't ready for that. Some the tree. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. So this is a news program. We do our best to bring you the news of the day. Why don't we go check in on some of my favorite news sites, the Daily Mail and the New York Post. Let's go ahead and see their front pages right now at this very moment. Joe Blow, uh-oh, what is this? Ex-Hunter Biden business partner, Devin Archer, testifies Joe Biden was on calls with foreign patrons for the brand, the brand being the Biden crime family. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and check the Daily Mail. Backtracking Dems now admit Biden was on 20 business calls, meetings with son's partner, but only talked about the weather as Hunter business partner spills the beans to Congress. Blame it on Bo. Oh, no. Explosive emails and photos. Documents lay bare Hunter Biden's shady business dealings. Oh, my. This isn't good for Joe Biden. Apparently, Joe Biden was discussing his son's business dealings with the criminal business associates of Hunter Biden, according to the testimony of this man today. Well, that's interesting because, you know, it, it's a, a funny thing having the Internet and access to the Internet, because I remember a time when Joe Biden looked into the barrel of the camera, Peter Ducey's camera and demanded that he ask the right questions about Donald Trump's criminality. When Peter Ducey says, hey, uh, you seem like a criminal with your son. Joe Biden brazenly, blatantly, knowingly lied to every reporter in America. And it'd be a shame if this clip went viral. Vice President, how many times have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business And so how do you know? Oh, yeah, here's what I know. I know Trump deserves to be investigated. He is violating every basic norm of a president. You should be asking him the question, why is he on the phone with a foreign leader trying to intimidate a foreign leader? If that's what happened, that appears what happened. You should be looking at Trump. Trump's doing this because he knows I'll beat him like a drum. And he's using the abuse of power and every element of the, the of presidency to try to do something to smear me. Everybody looked at this and everybody's looked at it and said there's nothing there. Ask the right Ask the question. Right question. Ask, Ask the, the right question. question. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> oh, how about this? How about this question? What were you doing on the phone calls, Joe? When uh, I have a conversation with my business associates. I run a business. It's a successful business. I pay my taxes. I do things on the up and up, but I certainly have plenty of meetings about our business. There are a lot of people who want to get cut in on our business. A lot of people who want a little bit of the Benny brand. So let me tell you something that doesn't happen when I'm having a business discussion. I don't call my dad. I don't call my retired father who is sitting around in retirement, on the beach, uh, having nothing to do with my business. That is not something normal. And I don't put those guys on the phone and be like, hey, you want to talk about the weather with my dad? Yeah. That's what Democrats are now resorting to as their defense for Joe Biden here. And there it is. Devin Archer just testified under oath that Burisma pressured Hunter and Joe to shut down Victor Shokin, the Ukrainian prosecutor investigating Burisma. Joe used $1 billion loan from U.S. tax dollars as leverage to do so. This is corruption. D.C. Drano, quote, tweeting Chad Peergram. Chad has a spectacular thread on all of this from an inside source who was there for the transcribed interview with Hunter Biden's former business partner. Archer testified that there was a value to add Hunter Biden to Burisma's board, and it was the Biden brand. The argument was that then Vice President Joe Biden brought the most value for the brand. Archer also stated that Burisma would have gone under had it not been for the brand. 
the Bidens saved this entire company. In December 2015, Mikola Zhlaskevsky, the owner of Burisma and an executive at Burisma, placed constant pressure on Hunter Biden to get help from D.C. regarding the Ukrainian prosecutor, Viktor Shokin. Shokin was investigating Burisma for corruption. Hunter Biden, along with the Burisma executives, called D.C. to discuss the matter with Biden. The Burisma executives stepped away to make the call with Joe Biden. Archer testified that Hunter Biden would then put Vice President Joe Biden on the speakerphone during business meetings over 20 times. Archer testified that Joe Biden was put on the phone to sell the brand. These phone calls included dinner in Paris with the French energy company and in China with members of the Communist Chinese Party. In spring of 2014, then President Joe Biden attended a business dinner with his son, Hunter Biden, and his associates at Cafe Milano in D.C., Elena Baturina, a Republican oligarch who was the widow of the former mayor of Moscow, attended the dinner. The dinner. The Biden administration's public sanctions of Russian oligarchs does not include Baturina. So who exactly is a Putin stooge? The people who take the Russian money? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very bad day for the Bidens. They are getting absolutely destroyed including a former FBI agent who was just on Fox News saying that the Bidens have committed pure and simple bribery, and that is an impeachable offense, Article 2, Section 4. No, no, we met, did not do business, and now it's just this casual on the phone, but you happen to be the sitting vice president of the United States, and regard, regardless if it's casual, it is influential as heck. Carl is, uh, he's spot on. I mean, this, this is what we call, in the, as head of the criminal division, we saw this quite a bit in the bribery cases. It's called stream of services. You sell access or something of value and you get something back in return, but it's not an express quid pro quo. It's just an understanding. But if you can match up the services in, you know, within a reasonable period of time, uh, with with the the thing of benefit in this case ten million dollars or whatever it is then you then you have bribery you don't you have to have that express quid pro quo and they were selling mm -hmm. access all he had to do they they do the big setup and then they put Joe Biden on the phone and just just shows that they have access here he is he's on the phone I just told you you know we can we can do things for you and there he is so I mean that matches up perfectly then you match it up with. The prosecutor gets fired. The prosecutor is 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 going after Burisma right within that same time frame. Boy, you're really close to a slam dunk, in my opinion. He says he's close to a slam dunk bribery charge against Joe Biden. And that is one of the charges that you can bring up against a president to impeach him. So, boy, oh, boy, it would be a shame if the clip of Joe Biden lying to the entire press all around the globe saying he had nothing to do with his son's business dealings went viral, ladies and gentlemen, because this is going to be a bad day in D.C. True. Panic in D.C. Let's go. No one's established that he did anything wrong or that I've done anything wrong. Period. He did not do a single thing wrong, as everybody's investigated. But look, uh, there is zero, 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 zero evidence of any assertion being made. You know there's not one single bit of evidence, not one little tiny bit, to suggest anything done was wrong. There's not a scintilla of evidence that I did anything wrong. No one has produced one scintilla of evidence that I did anything other than do my job for America. I don't discuss business with my son. Have you ever spoken to your son about his overseas business dealings? I've never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings. And I've never discussed what my son's business with him because I didn't want any conflict. Do you stand by your statement that you did not discuss any of your son's overseas business Yes, I stand him? by that statement. First of all, I, I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. I've never discussed my business or their business, my son's or daughter's, and I've never discussed them. article released the thing on online. It's going to be printed one time. It's good. I need to clear.